Let's take a look at the calculations for the mole concept lab. So you will have 50 beads, mass of those. Um, you'll be using a test tube to find the volume of those beads. So a small will allow you to find the beads. Measure the dimensions of the room. And then we're going to about the number of beads that would fill the entire room. Uh, maybe this help us get started. So a ratio of the number of beads to the mass. So you are, are can know the mass of those beads. So the number of beads is because of uh, that number right there, or it'd be about 50. And um, the mass, so you're gonna have an equality, 50 equals whatever mass measure. And so I'm just going to number 15.0 grams. Um, so that could be a little different, of course. Uh, all, the, all of these made up, so don't copy these numbers, but this would just be used as an example. So now we have the ratio of the beads and 10. So um, you'll, be, you'll be putting a bunch of them into a small, so something kind of like this, a small test tube and you're going to get the mass of that test tube. So let's say that um, you have 10 milliliters. We know the volume tube is 10 milliliters. And the mass we find out is, um, say that's 30 zero grams. So now we have another volume to mass. Measure the length, width, and height of the room. And so we can measure it. Um, so perhaps meters would be a good unit to measure. So let's say we have um, 20 meters for the length, um, for the width, we have 15 meters, and then we have 5 meters. So then the volume of the room calculated by the uh, length, the width, and the height. Um, now it might be a little to convert meters first because of a later step that we're going to get to. So um, if you convert these to centimeters, you're going to end up moving that decimal point. Since there are 100 centimeters in one meter, you would do for each one. So for every one meter, there's 100 centimeters. And so yep, multiplying each one by 100. So that's moving the decimal point two places to the right. 2,000 centimeters, 1,500 centimeters and 500 meters. So then we're going to multiply those three numbers together. Length width, length times height is the volume. We get a very large number, it's likely. So I'm going to scientific notation. So 1.5 um, times 10 to the ninth. We're worrying about significant figures since I'm just making numbers up anyway. So we have a large number, and the unit, since I multiplied centimeters times centimeters, the unit is going to be centimeters cubed. All right, so now on to the analysis. Find the number of beads that would occupy the volume of the room. We're going to be using these, uh, these conversion factors, these equalities, to do this. Um, so we have um, beads, that's our unknown. That's what we're trying to get to. And um, the volume of the room is the given, and that's this number right here. So that's going to be our given value, this number, so with 1 5 times 10 to the 9th cubed over 1. And so factors to get to the number of beads. So our link here is milliliters to grams. We have grams to beads. So we have we have conversion work our way to the number of beads. Um, centimeters cubed, um, milliliters. So what do we do with that? Well, out that um, there's an equality for, and so centimeter cubed. So for every one cubed, there's one mill. Then for every ten, using this factor, for every ten liters. 
there's 30.0 for every 15 gram 50 beads 15.0 grams 50 beads there we go it's all set up units will cancel and we just calculate so multiply across on the top across on the bottom write the, those answers and then divide so we have 1.5 times 10 to the ninth and then that's going to be uh, multiplied by 30 times 50 divided by open parentheses 10 times 15 close parentheses is out to 1.5 times 10 to the 10. Okay, and so that's the number of beads. 1.5 times the tenth beads in this box right here. All right, we're on to the back side. So it says if a if a mole of beads is 6.02 times 10 to the 20 beads, how many classrooms would have to be completely filled? <coughs> Okay, so we know that one classroom would hold this many beads, and this is a mole of beads. So we want to figure out if the classroom would hold this many beads, how many classrooms hold this number of beads. Um, <clears throat> so the, the steps here, um, <clears throat> so we have our unknown, which is the number of classrooms, and the number of beads is this. And we can basically make a um, conversion factor using this, this number. And our conversion factor is that one um, classroom is 1.5 times 10 to the 10th beads. And of course, they're gonna be different since you're making original measurements, so don't copy any of these numbers. Um, but this is the idea on how to do it. All right, so let's see our given value then is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So we're gonna start with that. Beads. And so then we can see that uh, we can use this equality to make a factor for every 1.5 times 10 to the 10th beads there's one classroom. And some of you might have noticed already that we're just going to be dividing the number of beads and total by the number of beads in one classroom. And so now we divide those numbers. So 6.02 times 10, oops, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, 6.02 to the 23rd divided by 5 times 10 to the 10th, and that comes out to 40.01, we'll round 40 point, uh, four, not 44, 0.01 times 10 to the 13th. So 4.1 times 10 to the 13th classrooms. See beads cross out, and that really is supposed to go in this box up here. Okay, so next says using the number three here, using the dimensions for the width of the classroom, find the total volume of this classroom. Then find the length of one edge of a cube with this volume in miles. All right, so um, we found the dimensions of class of our classroom. We know the volume of our classroom, and we know the number of classrooms that are needed to hold a mole of beads. We can use this process. So if um, the volume of one classroom is this, so we can use that as a conversion factor. So one classroom is this number from side one, the volume of the room, point 
five times 10 to the ninth centimeters cubed. So if we have this number of classrooms, we figure out the total volume um, of a classroom that's large enough to hold a mole of beads. So we're going to take that number, we're going to take this number, and that's our given value. So that's what we're going to start with. And our unknown is the, um, the total volume. So that's going to be in centimeters cubed. So we have 4.01, 10 to the 13th classrooms. And for every classroom, there is 1.5 times 10 to the 9th centimeters cubed. And again, some of you might have just thought in your head, we're going to multiply the two numbers. Since this is the volume, um, the number of bees in one classroom, and if we multiply that times um, the number of classrooms needed, which is this number actually, um, then we'll get the answer. All right, so numbers. And so that comes out to Six point oh two times ten to the twenty second centimeters cubed. The last thing we need to do is uh, we need to find the cube root of this since this um, the cubic volume. If we take the cube root of that number, six point oh two times ten to the twenty second centimeters cubed, we'll have the um, <clears throat> that will give us the length of one edge, one edge in miles. So think about a cube. All right, so we have this huge cube like that. So the formula to find the um, area or volume of a cube is the length times the width times the height. So, but those same, so it's just the length cubed, uh, if we take the cube root of the length, then we will have the, uh, the cube root of the length, then we will have value of L. So we're trying to find the length of a single edge so we can get some perspective of how large is, um, this classroom or this object is that would hold a mole of these tiny little, tiny little beads. So we take the cube root of this number might need to look for that button on your calculator. On my calculator, um, it's, it's a couple of, you could do the second key and use this button. Um, I believe there's actually a um, designated cube root key as well. It's right here. So I have to press second and then press this button. And there I go. So it's 3.92 times 10. 3.92 times 10 to the seventh centimeters and so that's the number that goes in this box 3.9 to 10 to the seventh centimeters and uh, also that number we're supposed to go in this box okay um, so that is the length of an edge and uh, oops it said to calculate that in miles oops we have another conversion so that's so that's the first step is to take the cube root but then we need to convert it so 3.92 times 10 to the seventh centimeters. We need to convert that to miles. We're going to need to use a couple of qualities here. So we have centimeters to inches. Um, so we could use uh, 2.54 centimeters for every one inch. And then we have inches to feet for every 12 inches. We have one foot, and then we have 5,280 feet, there's one mile. So plug it into this calculation, and <clears throat> and 
so that comes out to 240 rounded miles. So that's actually the answer that goes up here. 200, this should be 244 miles. All right, and then in this space, we're supposed to sketch a picture of something like maybe the state of Kenya or something near the Bay Area. Uh, I'm a terrible artist, so it's supposed to be California. And here's Lake Tahoe. Uh, okay, anyway. Um, so you sketch a little picture and then you show what's 244 miles in to something like that. All right, so that's the process for doing the calculations for this lab.